the American College of Physicians and five other medical specialty societies have issued two clinical practice guidelines for diagnosing and managing stable ischemic heart disease. Stable ischemic heart disease is a major public health issue affecting an estimated one in three adults in the United States. The prevalence of ischemic heart disease increases with age and approximately 23% of men and 15% of women aged 60 to 79 in the United States have ischemic heart disease. Although survival of patients with ischemic heart disease has been steadily improving, it, it was still responsible for nearly 380,000 deaths in the U.S. in 2010 alone, with an age-adjusted mortality rate of 113 per 100,000 population. In the evaluation of ischemic heart disease guideline, we recommend that the patients with chest pain receive a thorough history and physical examination to assess the probability of stable ischemic heart disease prior to additional testing. This is followed by electrocardiogram to rule out uh, heart disease or other tests such as stress tests or coronary angiography. Choices regarding diagnostic and therapeutic options, they, sh they should be made through a process of shared decision making between the patient and physician to discuss the risks, benefits, and costs to the patient. Regarding the, our, the management guideline, we recommend the treatment strategy. It needs to start with patient education about ways to reduce risk, such as with healthy diet, exercise, avoidance of smoking, and weight control. Education on the, uh, it's really important uh, on, on Im ad adherence to medication and information on how to recognize worsening cardiovascular symptoms and take appropriate actions are also critical. We do not recommend certain uh, risk reduction strategies because we did not any find any evidence to support any benefit. This guideline, these two guidelines, they include over 100 recommendations and uh, they go each and every step of evaluation as well as the management.